Hi, this is Sydney. In this video today, I wanted to share with you how energy works. So by understanding how it works, you can use that to bring consciousness to your daily life and stay present and also make peace with the past by making anything that happened in the past your fuel that's going to help you move forward rather than keep you stay stuck. Usually we get caught up in the memory of what happened, how it happened, um, how you felt about it, what you did, how others did, how circumstances happened, all these things. And so it's really hard to make peace with it and move forward. And to move forward, we have to make peace with the past. So first we want to understand energy. What is it and how does it work? Basically everything is energy, even though we don't see it. We call that prana in Sanskrit, right? Life force, the breath. What we want to understand based on that is your thought is energy. Your emotion is energy. Everything is energy that is alive, that we don't really realize. And we, a lot of the times we think unconsciously, meaning we don't realize that we're thinking about something or that's growing. You see? So that's a state of unconsciousness. And we repeat the same cycle based on a certain pattern that we've been playing out and based on a certain conditionings that we've received. So basically unconscious state is a reactive state where we react to conditions. And so things happen accidentally constantly because you're not in charge of directing that energy flow, your conditions, your conditionings, they are in charge of directing your energy flow. So that's why it's important to have consciousness or bring consciousness to your awareness. So basically, energy flows where your intention goes and energy flows where your attention goes and energy flows where your thought goes and energy flows where your emotion goes and all these things affect the choices that you're making moment to moment and that leads to your action and action basically is a movement on a physical level and it generates energy and so that leads to creation. So basically everything is energy. And so what you think, how you think about certain things or about certain people, situations, how you say something, the words you use, whether you express or hold on, not express, all these things affect your energy flow and so everything has high vibration and low vibration and when in high vibration things are moving really fast when in low vibration it's moving very slow so when you are bored it feels like time is going by slowly it feels boring when you're having a good time, you're feeling passionate, inspired, enjoying something. We don't really think about time. It just passes by really quickly. So that's how energy works and energy flows. And so it's really important to be aware, meaning be conscious of what you are thinking moment to moment and what you are feeling because of what you're thinking and what you are choosing and how you describe yourself, your self-talk or how you describe yourself to other people or what you say to yourself or what you think and what you say outwardly. Are they aligned or not in alignment? All these things create 
disharmony or harmony and that's echoing out that's what's flowing and it creates it generates energy that creates a wave of vibration and that works like seeds that we plant everywhere and over time not sometimes right away depends on you know what you're thinking how you're thinking um, they grow and the more you feed on it it grows the more you focus on it it grows and eventually you end up experiencing it in your reality and we call that law of cause and effect so when we understand this we start to understand that what you are experiencing right this moment is exactly what you created it could be you you could have created unconsciously and you could create it consciously but you know however it came from where it came from you are the one who created it at the end of the day so you realize what you are going through is all your creations and once you understand that you start to own your creations meaning we don't blame other people or circumstances and that's why there's a saying you are exactly where you need to be right this moment so even though you don't like or it doesn't make you feel comfortable you're not feeling comfortable you don't like where you are there's a reason why that's happening because there's a cause that you created that energy somehow and when it was created out of unconsciousness now you're gonna look at it reflect and you're gonna have consciousness over that experience and understand what made you choose that and you know how that creates the consequences and you understand the process and so what's going to happen is what can i learn from this and then how can i make a different choice meaning a wiser more conscious choice next time so i experience more harmony joy contentment and so usually what happens is a lot of the times we create with the mind what we want to create from the heart and so we go into the heart when we are conscious so i don't know if you understand what i'm saying um this can be a little bit difficult for some people um but over time the more you um are introduced or exposed to this, these concepts it's you will get it so um, if you don't you can leave a comment or a question down below or um, you can re-listen to this video over and over and as you go through life and you come across come across this video later on you might understand um, what it means and you might discover something new so that's how it works and so we learn to when we learn to take responsibility what happens is the moment that you realize that everything is your creation you begin to accept so that's why acceptance we you know a lot of the times accept where you are is you now okay this is what i created so what can i do now what do i need to do now that's what you're going to focus on you see that's why going you're going to intend and so that's going to create a different vibration a new energy and that ends up growing and that ends up returning by the law of cause and effect and you're going to experience something different and as a result of that now the past what you experienced become a fuel that's going to help you move forward you see so the negative it's not just negative positive is not just positive they work hand in hand they work together and we need both experiences 
So the difficult experiences, the challenges, the hardships, the heartaches, the wounds, the traumas, the what we call negative, the shadow or the darkness, now they will become your fuel that's going to help you move forward as you make that make peace with that through that acceptance, through taking responsibility, because now you understand you created it. It's not someone else. It's not the situation. It is you. And so what that means is you have the power to create what you experience in the future by becoming what you want to be now in the present. So you don't say, I want to. Wanting meaning not now, but in, in the future sometime. So you become the energy you want to be now. So you become or you are what you attract. It has nothing to do with what you want. The energy that you vibrate in right now is what you attract. So to get rid of the inner lack, if you start to feel abundant now, that's what you going what you're going to experience now and in the future, you see? So you're in a feeling of lack and you want abundance. So you say I want, I want. It's not going to change. There's discord, this harmony. And you, your energy vibration is still the same. So I hope this concept helps you because this is really key and this is really important in bringing consciousness to our daily life. And so you can become free of any victimhood, any enslavement that is, that's going on psychologically and you are held back or constantly live and go back to the past and attach to that whether you know it or not and you feel heavy every time so I hope this video helps you break free from that past limitation whatever happened happened right so the question is what are you going to do with what happened because right now has all the opportunities that you can create and by how you're going to look at it you can create a different new better future for yourself future doesn't mean far away but you know the next moment the moment you realize your energy shift and the next moment you're totally awake and that's possible so I hope this helps and if you have any questions leave them down below and if you're interested in what I'm offering online as online coaching you can check it out on my website that's sydneycha.com s-i-d-n-e-y-c-h-a.com or you can also make booking for a free consultation with me to discuss how you can be helped see you in the next video guys bye